And uh, Jason, as you mentioned, in ACC play, it's been tough sledding in on the ground for Clemson, but uh, they loosened things up pretty well against BC and moved uh, the line of scrimmage a bit here. Kobe Pace, 18 carries for a buck 25 and a touchdown. Phil Maffa, we talked about him last week with you in regards to uh, them needing to take the red shirt off and give him some action, and he's responded well. He had eight carries. DJ has not run the ball as much as maybe a lot of people anticipated going into this season, but he did run it 12 times uh, against uh, Boston College. So what do you expect this running game to look like going forward in regards to the two backs and then DJ? Yeah, I think Clemson found something in the running game against Boston College. I mean, I mean, don't get me wrong, Boston College isn't some stout defensive front, but but they're always going to play you physical. I mean, it's not they're not a pushover by any stretch. You know, they did they did some tinkering with the offensive line. They started Hunter Rayburn at center. It was the first time he had started at center all season. They moved Matt Bockhorse over to um, right guard. He started in place of Will Putnam, who got hurt against North Carolina State. And then they started a freshman at um, left guard. And I'd be interested to in, I'm interested to see if, if you know that's if they do the same thing this week, even with Will putting them back. You know that they um Dabo Sweeney's not tipping his hand at all. He put the depth chart out. He's got a bunch of co-starters listed. Um. Actually, I think I said they started a freshman at left guard. It was sophomore Paul Teo, if I'm not mistaken. But I'm interested to see that starting lineup at that offensive line come Friday night because I think they found something with Rayburn at center. Um, I think Matt Bockhorst is far more suited to play guard than he is center. I think that's been one of Clemson's biggest problems all season is not having a center. How they got stuck with not having a center this season, I have no idea, but it is what it is. But I think they found something in that running game. You know, they've been trying to get it going for a month and just hadn't had no success. Kobe Pace, who we heard about all spring, all throughout fall camp, had his biggest game of the season, and we finally got to see what the coaches said they saw all spring and fall. And that him and and Phil Moffa are two guys that I think have a lot of potential. I think they could be a pretty deadly combination running the ball if they get some room to run, it all starts with this offensive line. And you you reference DJ running the ball. So, you know, he, he ran it a dozen times against Boston College. And I think that's about the right number. You want him running, you know, it's somewhere between 10 and 15 times. You got to keep the defense honest. You got to make them account for him. I mean, that's, that's what's just, that's how this Clemson offense has been so successful in the past is having that threat of the running quarterback. And, even if he's not going to break off big plays and run it 20 times a game, the threat's got to be there. Joseph Nagata had four catches for a buck 11 with a big 54 yard play. Is he finally turning the corner? Yeah, I think he is. Um, it, it's He's finally healthy and he's been able to stay on the field consistently. And that's been the biggest thing with him so far as his health. He's just had some terrible luck with health issues. Did have a, uh, you know, at least I know he he was one of the guys that had a big drop in that game the other night. But, you know, when, when the quarterback and the receivers have been so off the way that they've been in this Clemson offense, it, it's there's, there's going to be some bumps along the way. You know, as inaccurate as DJ has been, those receivers don't always know where that ball is coming. Even though that one was placed perfectly, he probably wasn't expecting it to be placed perfectly. But yeah, I think he's turning the corner. on um, if they can get him and Justin Ross both playing at their potential and starting to, if those guys have got to create some separation and give DJ, you know, a target to throw to. But if those guys, if those two guys can start playing a little bit better, it will go a long ways to t- towards helping Clemson get out of this rut they've been in on offense. 